I don't know if I spoke about this already, but I quickly went to mention this um, because I don't think I spoke about it. I don't think I did. Um, Alice Hamilton tweets. I quickly want to go through them and see which you guys think are more likely to be true and which ones aren't. And then we're going to get onto the Brendan Shaw stuff as well. But I'm not really too sure what I think about the tweets overall. I like how she's firing off the hip from them. I like how she doesn't give a single fucking fuck. But I'm just not sure how actually true they are, you know? I don't know what level of truth comes into it or if there's any truth to be had. So, um, let's say this Let's say this to begin with. So, again, I don't know if I covered this already. I, might, I may have covered them in the, in the previous stream. If I did, uh, please forgive me. But let's just go through them quickly, right? So, this is Alice Hamilton's tweet. So, she tweeted, what, maybe a week ago, two weeks ago? And I took some screenshots, right? So, the first one is this one. Um, I've spoken to a few women, a few I've one hooked up with, and they all told me the same thing. Theo is gay. I've never seen Theo with a man, but if you pay attention to his mannerisms, I don't know, bro, a little bit zesty with it. <laughs> She's just throwing out allegations of people being gay on just a feeling. <laughs> Alice Hamilton's a savage. There's also a male opener, Micah, who refuses to to be alone with Theo because the Rat King was too touchy. Always joking about what if we kiss, tee hee hee. Um, he'd be so funny if we hooked up, JK, JK. I think Theo has a little secret. My likelihood of this, I don't think so is true. I think it's very unlikely that Theo Vaughn is gay. I don't get a gay from Theo, personally. I don't get that. Not in the slightest. I don't get a gay vibes from Theo. And again, my gay is terrible, so I'm not the best judge of it, but I don't think that is true. I don't think Theo has any gay in him. <clears throat> personally, personally. Anyway, we continue. Um, Goddamn Alice, okay. What's the other one she says? Um, yeah, this one's a really good one. <clears throat> Chris Lear tweeted, my new special, Grow or Die, is out now. You can get it here. She tweets in reply, Grow or die, you haven't grown, so please do the other thing. <coughs> Which I absolutely love, right? I absolutely love. Oh, exactly. Is Zek? There we go, Koila. AZ, my friend dated him. She had nothing but great things to say. Boom. Yeah, I don't. <coughs> I don't get the gay thing at all. <coughs> if you told me he, he has some, like, sexual kink or something fair enough but even then i don't think that's worth divulging or like exposing somebody for having a thing that they're into in a bedroom that's a bit lame but the gay thing is a bit weird isn't it i don't know where people get that from yeah i know he he has some good humor when it comes to gay jokes and stuff he's really good at kind of like playing that sort of role but i never got the and again maybe you guys in chat can disagree with me i never i never really got a vibe that he's gay like it's just not something that even crossed my mind <clears throat> But again, I guess maybe the gay thing, people would maybe think it's possible because of the whole party boy thing, isn't it? Because there was a period in time when, when Theo was addicted to coke and shit and liked to party. So maybe people think if you're into drugs, there's a possibility that you can go gay because you do too much drugs. I, I don't know. I, I, you know what I mean? I don't think that's true. Um, I've done a lot of the D-U-R-G-U-S over the years and I haven't, you know, slipped my man meat into someone's pussy. So I don't think it works that way. <laughs> I don't think you need to take drugs to realize you're gay. You're gay usually without drugs, you know? <laughs> I don't think it works that way, really. But hey... <clears throat> What do I know? Sorry. I'm coughing and I've got stuff in my throat. I promise it's not man juice. I promise it's not. Um, let's scroll down. Groomer Delia is coming out with a new special, so I'm all fired up. Going to tweet mean things. Okay, cool. Um, Chris Delia wants to get caught. Huh? She says here, Chris Delia wants to get caught. He's shocked he hasn't, he's gotten away with it. Um, with hurting women for so long, he's impressed with himself and he wants to credit. That's why he's not being careful with it. This I can believe. This has got some truth to it because I think Chris Lee's actions are really odd. For somebody that kind of got away with it, it seems very strange that he's going out of his way to like not be out of the limelight and to not do like creepy weird things. And if you're wondering what I mean by creepy weird things, I honestly thought this video of Chris, considering all the allegations around him, 
was a very strange thing to put out there. And even stranger, when you hear the voice behind a camera, is most likely his wife. This is very odd. Honey? Is that real? Baby, your special has been out for less than 24 hours and you come home with a soul. This is basically his version of first trapping and he's now doing it with his wife encouraging him. After all the allegations of him diddling, right? It's, it's essentially, you know, grooming and trying to accost fucking young ladies and shit, doing all this sort of stuff just doesn't seem like the thing somebody that wants to kind of get on with their career would do. Maybe there's a part of him I wouldn't is that maybe there's a part of him that's kind of like surprised that he did get away with it, which I don't think he did. I think this this idea that he got away with it is an is a is a misnomer. I think get if getting away with it means that he, he's not in prison, fair enough, but also, let's be fair, um getting away with it isn't um getting away with it when it comes to like sexual related crimes isn't that difficult because the conviction rate unfortunately is super low especially you know when you see the amount of people that actually report a crime or that involves any sort of like sexual um things whatever it may be um the nature of the allegations against them some of them are not like technically illegal as well so it's hard to it's hard to kind of um prosecute against that and blah de, blah 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 so it's not like he it's not like it's, it's not as if he got away with it the fact that everybody knows his secret is out in the open is probably something that still kind of pains him to this day. And the fact that his career hasn't got back to where it was post or pre-allegations is probably the biggest punishment or the greatest punishment he could ever receive anyway. Because now he's basically living in a constant state of purgatory. So this idea that he kind of has gone away with it is a bit dumb because would you really swap places with Chris Alea? Would you really want to have his money, have his life or whatever house, whatever it is, but also know that your whole community has kind of turned their backs on you. The industry doesn't want to touch you and you're now looked at as a pedo. He might not be a pedo, right? He might not be one, but people look at him like a pedo. So if he's like, I don't think that's something to say that he got away with it. That's still a bit, you know, that's a lot. And this video doesn't really make any sense. But hey, what do I know? Um, let's continue quickly and I'll go back to the video in a minute. Um, Whitney has been fucking Brennan Shaw um, behind his wife's back. If it turns out Shaw is a father, Whitney's baby, I'll perform the abortion myself. I want this to be true so badly. I want this to be true so badly. But even I can't believe that Papa would be this dumb. I want this to be true so badly. But even I cannot believe that Brendan would be this dumb to cheat on his partner again but to cheat on her with fucking Whitney Cummings and then get Whitney Cummings pregnant. That just doesn't sound, that doesn't make any sense for both parties, for both parties, man. Come on. Because Whitney would not hear the end of it, that she got, she got fucking up the duff by fucking Brendan. She will never be able to live that down. She's going to get fucking powers forever and ever. Um, I don't think that's ever the case. Maybe they have, you know, hooked up behind the scenes, behind each other, you know, behind their partner's back along the way. Who knows? Because they did they did date before in the past, right? They were kind of boyfriend and girlfriend. Or maybe they no, they, maybe they weren't official. They had, they did date for a for a while back in the day. So there is maybe feel there was always been feelings there. Maybe they kind of wanted to dip back in a pool here and there. But I don't think that it's, it would go as far as Brendan getting her pregnant. I don't see that to be the case. What do you guys think? Come on man. I want this to be true, but I just can't see Brendan being dumb enough to. Cause that's why I, that's why I don't believe that girl that came out and said she's the girl from the fucking live stream. That girl that looks like she's like seventeen, but she's nineteen or something. It just seems too like. It just seems too dumb. Like really, that girl. She looks so young. Like you can even see it from the sound of her. You can even tell from the sound of her voice the way she fucking speaks. Um, her mannerisms, like. He couldn't tell that that girl was fucking under 21, really? And I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Whitney is not Brendan's type. No, she Whitney is Brendan's type. Like, uh, Brendan and Whitney used to fuck back in the day. And they've admitted that. Like, they used to fuck. So, 
Brendan definitely is into Whitney, and Whitney definitely is into Brendan. Let's not be, let's not act like they're not. And and Brendan doesn't really have a type. Let's be fair too. Brendan just wants to fuck. Brendan doesn't have a type. We've seen it with the fucking list of, like you know, there's not really a you know. Come on, Brendan doesn't have a type. Like let's be let, let's be fair. <laughs> like that guy doesn't have a type. Um, Santino forces women to get abortions so they won't ruin his career. He can't get his wife pregnant because he's wasting all his good nut on the side chicks. Okay. This, I think, is unnecessarily mean, personally. Um, but I don't know what Alice Hamilton has with Santino. Maybe she's got some personal beef with him behind the scenes on the comedy circuit. Because, And that's something I don't get, too. Can someone explain to me what the beef with Andrew Santino? Because it seems like a few people, like, well, I guess mostly Red Bar, people really don't like Andrew Santino, and I'm really unsure why. Like, he doesn't, he's not very, like, la- this unlikable, really, isn't it? He just seems kind of normal and chill. I don't really see why he would annoy people. Like, why would he be that angry? Or, or why would he make people this upset with him? That's what I want to know. Even if he is cheating on his wife, like, let's say he is doing it, why would people want to be so determined to expose him? Like, does he, does he present himself to be, like, the never-cheater guy? Is that why? Does he pretend to be like a, a perfect person or something? Because I don't get why he seems to elicit these feelings of people. Andrew Santino, he seems kind of chill to me. Maybe I'm not in the wrong here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Only thing I can think of is they don't like his success when he's not that funny. Rogan effect. Ah, uh, good point, Koyla, because fucking, um, what's that podcast called they got? Um, Bad Friends. That podcast does fucking numbers, isn't it? Let me just check my my phone. But I'm pretty sure they get like hundreds and thousands of views every fucking episode. Like they do some, fu- yeah, exactly. Jesus Christ, the episode that just, oh my god, the episode that just come out six days ago, eight hundred and thirty eight thousand views. No guest, just Bobby and fucking um, Andrew Santino. So maybe people just don't like the fact that yeah, maybe quite is right. Maybe their success. Is annoying because they've got some episodes here that got a million views. Fucking with no guest. Just Bobby, um, Bobby fucking what you call it? Bobby Lee and Andrew Santino going back and forth and shit. Wow. Okay, fair play. Fair play. Wow. So yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm gonna give Alice, Alice Hampton the benefit of the doubt here because I also feel like she's somebody that if she has an issue with you away from the in the industry, right, on the streets and shit, she's going to bring it to Twitter. So most likely her and Andrew have some sort of personal beef. Maybe Andrew's had to fuck or something. Maybe there's something going on there. So I'm prone to believe this is true, but I also would like more context. Let's continue. Um, I haven't been able to hook to look at Whitney the same since the Leah's underage victims um, said that he took her to a dinner to meet all his comedian friends and they joked about her being in high school, including Whitney, is somehow worse with from women. And she tweeted and said, Whitney and Theo met high schoolers, the Leah was abused and neither cared. Yeah, this I believe to be true. And this is the thing that I think stinks the most and doesn't really get spoken about enough. I'm somebody that believes that monsters like Chris D'Elia allegedly will always exist. My theory is that monsters like that will always exist. Dirty, disgusting people who take advantage of people like that will always exist in society. But it's our responsibility as normal, law-abiding, um, you know, nice people to call that shit out. We can't turn a blind eye to people when they do bad things. That's our responsibility. If those people are always going to exist, we also have the responsibility to call that shit out when we see it. Because if we don't call it out when we see it, we are then allowing somebody else to get abused down the line. And that is on our hands too. So I think that's really important. So I do kind of agree with this and the kind of sentiment around it. Another one, I think, I spoke to a few women feels hooked up with and they all told me the same. Okay, cool. They're they already... Yeah, cool. Done. So, um, not too sure how much I read into all of her tweets, but I like them anyway. Big up Alice Hamilton. I love how much she lets her fucking nuts hang. I love how much she fucking lets her nuts fucking hang. Dilly dang dang. 